Shave and Cadre, Barbara Dave with Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. Uh, we're going to do a uh, shave today uh, with Dawn's theme for cool. Uh, but before we do that, I want something for Nurse, to show something for Nurse Dave. Look, can you see that, Dave? Yes, it's my Aquanaut. And he is face up, floating in the space of that. So I thought you'd like that. He's not belly up like your dolphin. He's uh, face up, cruising around in the blue section. And now he's floating around in the other stuff. Not using this today, but I thought Dave would get an appreciation of that. Okay, for today's shave, we are going to be using uh, Iron Throne. Uh, Chris had made this soap uh, for uh, a couple of us, oh, years, a couple years ago, uh, regarding Game of Thrones. So it has uh, real menthol, WS-12, and stuff like that so it's a very cool soap a very cold on the face we'll be using captain's choice north which has got a nice juniper hit and then of course juniper sling to kind of mellow everything out because i'm sure dave and uh, nurse dave loves this because it does smell like uh some burnt some heat some campfire stuff so it's really good and for the brush today we're going to be using the tsc second anniversary brush and for the razor uh, I'm kind of hitting the hashtag new to me and the hashtag scared to shave, a 1924 Ever Ready shovel head. Uh, I've had this razor for a long time. My wife gave it to me for my birthday and it was in bad shape. Yesterday I polished it up and decided to use it and it's got a brand new gem blade in there. So we'll see how that goes. No need to talk about how uh, Chris's soaps lather. Uh, they're just tremendous. And this one has just a wonderful wonderful juniper smell to it um you know it's almost like a juniper forest and then with the added menthol you get uh, the fire and ice uh, kind of uh, smell to it yeah it smells like like if you were up in the mountains and somebody was burning uh some juniper or some pine um that's the smell you get uh, almost you could argue it's like a foresty christmas as well so it's really 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 good stuff And also, um, the eyebrow video I did yesterday, um, some interesting comments. Understand that, they, you know, guys, they're your eyebrows. Quite frankly, I don't care how you do them. But remember to ask the proper way to do them from a barber's perspective. And uh, being a professional barber, I know a lot about the hair, the structure of the face. But you know what? Trim your eyebrows the way you want to trim them. You're the one who has to look at them. I don't. Okay. Okay, we're going to see how this shovel head does. Definitely mows down the whiskers, that's for sure. I don't use alum that often, but I'll do it today just to see how it does. Because the blade gap, or the blade exposure, I should say, on this is pretty intense. So far, so good. The hardest part for me with these is to keep the, the shovel head cap up against the face to keep the razor from digging in.
Let's see how the first pass went. Pretty good, actually. And the residual slickness on Chris's soaps is just fantastic. And the ice coldness, what's neat about this soap, I, I think uh, than many of Chris's other soaps, is you get the feeling of fire and ice at the same time because you're getting that smell of the burnt wood and the juniper. Um, and it's very strong. Well, I'd say an SOS of four. But you're also getting that cooling from the menthol and the WS-12. And so it's it's a really unique sensation. Uh, other than any any other soap, I would say this Ever Ready is probably a little bit more aggressive than any of my other gem razors. But I will say that if you have any type of facial accoutrement, meaning like a mole, you want to be real careful. Because by looking at this, it reminds one of one of those banjo slicers as far as, you know, to get your salami sliced. But very nice, very uh, very smooth, actually. I can see where I've missed a few spots because of the angles um, of the blade itself. But like I said, I don't I don't shave with gems that often. But the face freeze is just tremendous. Not overly done, so you still get that menthol hit, but you also get that cooling agent hit like you would on a toothpaste. So it's really, really nice. Plus still getting that fiery um, smell. So if there was ever a soap that really encompassed what Game of Thrones was, uh, this is certainly it. And another complete winner by Chris in CBL soaps. One thing I will say about this shovel head, as opposed to the other gems that I have, for some reason this shovel head cap really stays smooth on the face. And this is a 100% brass razor. So it's really, really nice and smooth on the face. And not as hard to get used to as I thought it would be. But I can see, though, 
that if you got your angle wrong on this, it could definitely um, slice your face up like sushi pretty, pretty easy because of the blade gap and the blade exposure. Okay, let's see how we did. Good residual slickness as always with Chris's soaps. Few spots I missed. But overall, for the first time out using this, as KJ said yesterday, uh, when he commented when I posted this, uh, truly is a, a piece of cake. This is not a razor that I'd want to do a J hook with though. Um, and I think the shave would get better as I got used to this razor, but actually very, very nice. Now let's see what the alum says. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. A couple of little spots, but nothing, nothing major at all. I thought it would be worse. Good shape, actually. I'll be using the Parasso talc today because that rosemary. Uh, and I do get what Dave, Nurse Dave has been saying. I'm starting to get the more herbaceous uh feel of it uh for the aftershave we're going to use captain choice north um it matches almost perfectly i do have the captain's choice uh soap but i don't use it very often because you can't get it anymore but yeah this is very fiery very uh juniper forward And the nice thing about the Juniper Sling from Penhaligans is it's not that strong as far as lasting scent, but it has a boozy uh, margarita kind of, or not margarita, but gin and tonic type of feel, which actually uh, tones down the woodiness and the fieriness of the of the Captain's Choice North and the soap. So it's a it's a really nice uh, accompaniment to uh, to the Iron Throne. Um, if you can still get it somewhere, I would definitely recommend the Iron Throne. It's a great soap. Okay, we'll be using the Parasso again. As far as the talc. And the one thing I have noticed about the Parasso talc, for those that are interested in buying it, um, out of all the talcs that I have, this one has definitely quelled um, the heat issues that we get here. We were 108 yesterday, 106 the day before, 109 the day before that. And uh, I did not get oily burrito swamp face at all. And I was outside helping Kyle, UA Cowboy, moved for a while as well. And then yesterday I had to go to Home Depot to get some lattice for my wife. So it um, more and more sold on it as we speak. Okay, and then once again, the Juniper Sling by Penhaligans. It's a nice EDT. Um, 
like I said, it's a little bit light, but you'll get uh, hints of it uh, throughout the day. It's lime, juniper. It really does smell like a gin martini and a, and a um, gin and tonic with a kind of a sweet note to it. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites. Uh, it's just wonderful. Okay, guys. That said, I certainly appreciate it. And as always, we appreciate you being members of theshavingcadre.com. And if you haven't visited us before, that's www.theshavingcadre.com. Have you, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.